Hi guys, hey, welcome back. Another Wednesday, another shave. I know, am I looking forward to this? Okay, as you know, I received some stuff from Dennis, did an unboxing. Thank you, and that's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use the Ming Shi, and we're going to put that on setting six. Uh, I've already got it on setting six, but I haven't got the blade in yet. So that's the razor because um, I'm in the market for a future. Um, I'm just waiting, I nearly nearly bit the bullet on one on eBay, but somebody outbid me, but we'll get there. So that's there, so that'd be handy to try that, so then I'll know whether or not to get a future. The brush, another one from Dennis, Maggots, I think. It's 26 millimeter, I don't know, we'll put that in some water. It's a synthetic, you've no need to, I know, I know. Um, the blade we're gonna be putting in there is this, Rapira. We'll put it in in a minute. I'll show you the soap we're going to be using. German Street, the lovely guy that sent me all the Wickham soap, sent me that. And he sent me that. So there you go. I'll be using them. I'm looking forward to it. Mind readers again. I was in the market to get those. And then that decision was made for me by a lovely person who sent that for me. We've got Donny Osma, Willie Gower. Do you know, one of these days, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get him out of that coffin and put him in something else that's easier to open and then maybe I'll start using it. We've got the nick sticks and we'll polish off. Look at this guy, some umbro. That smells very similar to the German Street, you know? And I think that was a pound and the German Street aftershave, which I'm sure is better quality and smells slightly better, but it's a lot more than a pound, isn't it? Okay, because we're using this and it's a very soft, very, look at that, it's very, very soft indeed. I'm going to be using, going to be using something else that was sent to me from Dennis. Uh, Saponovicio, Saponovicio Varicino, probably see, Saponovicio Varicino uh, Grail shaving bowl. I've got in there, I've put plenty in after Saturday's performance, which I think was the brush, we'll talk about that in a while. But there you go, I've put plenty in there. Creams and crops in here. Anything harder, I'm going to put in the other John Shaves balls. Uh, oh, better put the blade in. There you go. Turn that off. It says Rapiria Platinum Lux. I don't think I've used these before. I think I've used Rapiria, but I don't think I've used the Platinum Lux. It comes double wrapped. Uh, let me see, get it out if I can get it out. My hands are so, my skin is so dry. Honestly, there you go. It says Rapira, and it's in Russian, but that at the bottom says Platinum Lux. I, I know that because I speak Russian, guys. I, I speak about 20 different languages, and Russian's one of them. Um, or it could just be that it says it in English on the other side. Okay. <laughs> Right, I'll get that on there. Oh, honestly, how is everybody doing? Look, so I got it in there. I'm really looking forward to using this. Just clip on that. I think that just clips on. That looks. That looks about right, doesn't it? Uh, is it me or does it seem to whoosh slope up a little bit there? I don't know. But to be fair, it all looks good, doesn't it? So we'll get that in there. We'll wet the face and then we'll whip up a lather. Oh, so how's everybody been doing? Yeah, that um, shave on Saturday, uh, the, the lather was a bit of a disaster. And I assumed it was the cream, the soap. But um, when I used a synthetic brush, one of Shavegirl's synthetic brushes after that. Um, and some of that soap, it whipped up an amazing lather. So I think the brush may need breaking in. So I've had it soaking in cold water for a couple of days. And you'll probably be squirming now when I say this. But um, it's absolutely saturated. I put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer for a couple of hours. And then just when it's at the point of freezing, the hairs should start to split because water expands, doesn't it, when it freezes. 
um, and that should help the breaking in process. Look at this, guys. I love, love, love this ball. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so look at this brush, though. Come on. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so let's. Uh, what the holy grail? Oh, so. I hit 600 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. Mmm. I'll put a scent strength on this. At quite mild. It's for sensitive skin. But it doesn't diminish when you take it, when you whip a lather up with it. The scent strength is the same now as it is when it's in the tub. But look at this, guys. Lovely, rich, thick. Dip them tips with it. But yeah, wow. I know there was a lot of soap there, but even so, hmm, look at this. This could just keep going and going, couldn't it? So, anyway, please hit like and subscribe. <laughs> there was something I needed to say in the last video, and I forgot. And do you know, I forgot this video. Well, here we go. It's on setting six. Right up, can you see that there on setting six? I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. This is a Ming Shi 2000 S. I think. I've never ever used one of these or a future. Wow. Very, very, very efficient. Look at that guys, wow that's taking it right off. So, I think what we'll do then, is we'll do a 6, a 4 and a 2. And we'll see where we go. So yeah, that's what I did with that brush. I've got it soaking, I've had it soaking since Saturday. In boiling hot water, then freezing cold water. Uh, just left it in cold water for a day or two. And then straight in the freezer just now. I'll, leave, I'll take it out of the freezer before I go to bed uh, and then dry it off. And then do a couple of test ladders. Ev ladders, everybody's got a theory of how best to do it, haven't they? Well, you see, this is where I thought I would struggle with the future. It's under the nose because. See, right, right in there, right up in there. It just, the very, very, the very last, the very, the crease in between lip and nose, that crease right in there. A little tuft grows out that way, and a little tuft grows out that way. So I always struggle, so I tend to favour razors with, with flatter heads, you know. But this is getting in there, can you see that? Wow, it is, oh yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah. I'm impressed with this. I'm impressed with this because of the aggression. I lean. Anybody who watches my videos knows I tend to lean more towards aggressive razors. Purely and simply because my beard is very coarse. Uh, yeah, ironically enough, the skin underneath it, as you've probably seen by now, is very soft. But look at that. That's wow. When you put a bit of water on. Look how slick that is. It's good soap, guys. Tailors of Old Bond Street. And I got the aftershave balm with it as well. So here we go. Back to the grill. I nearly said holy grill. Got to. I don't want to say that. The ball is called the Grail. But I'm sure you watched that Indiana Jones movie. Which one is it? The Search for the Holy Grail, probably or something. Isn't that, doesn't that look like when, when it, at the end scene when they're looking for them all? I'm sure that one's in there. That's what I'll tell my grandkids. And then when we put it on, they'll be looking for it. Yeah, so. Um, 
I was going to say something. Yes, the Saturday shave. Do you know what shaving soap I'm going to use, guys? <laughs> I don't know, and neither do you. But you're going to choose. Right, here we go. Sample Saturday it will be. Right, I've took that down to four now. What I'm going to do is, um, Daniel, wow, that's good, that's, that's nice, that's a nice shape. Daniel sent me 20 samples. Now, I used 15, didn't I, on Saturday? So here's what we're going to do. When you comment, either before or after, or even during, I'll make it the subject of your comment, but when you comment, put a number between 1 and 20, with the exclusion of 15, don't put 15, because you used that last Saturday. So a number between 1 and 20, and whatever number gets the most shout-outs, I'll go in there, and that's the one I'll use on Saturday, and I'll let you all know on Saturday what it is. I just thought that's a lovely way where you guys can have a say in Sample Saturday. See? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Good day at work. It's been a good week in work, actually. Uh, it's been busy, but it's been busy in terms of where I've been going, not in terms of what I've been lifting. Some weeks, guys, oh God. I think it was Friday, it was last Friday. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm no spring chicken. But anyway, please let me know what your shaves of the day are. Hmm, let me know. Um, yeah, what you're using, which shares your day out. Had some nice conversations. I've got some new subscribers. I'm so sorry, the guy that lives in Greece. Please, please forgive me. I forgot. I was reading the comments to get your name before I came in. I still forgot it. That's the thing. Do you know, I find that more and more the older I get. I can remember anything until I have to. The minute I have to remember it, so there's something at the back of my head went, ding, okay, switch, it's all gone. <laughs> yeah, so, loving, loving this shave, right, where are we at now? Let's, so we've done four, we'll do two, we'll do the last pass on two, and we'll do the pickups on two as well. I'm loving this, it's a fantastic razor. It came with some Ming Shi blades, no, I'm going to have to take that up, see? On number two, that isn't actually taking anything. So we're going to have to put that back up to four. And lather up. And we'll go against the grain on number four. That's it, that's got it. That's got it, see? Never be afraid to stop and make sure you're dialed in correctly. Because when I hop out of bed, five in the morning, and I do, I hop out of bed before the alarm goes off. The minute you click, I hear the clock, click five o'clock. I jump up and I go, woo -hoo -hoo! Like that, and the first thing I do is feel my face. <laughs> I don't, I don't really. Because I get up a couple of hours before my wife, so if I did do that, I would have a permanent black eye. But there is no better feeling than a real close, smooth chin. And what happens is, I found more and more so too as I get older, on the shades where I don't get BBS. 10 or 15 minutes later, it's almost like the hair I've missed retracts and sinks back below the skin line. And I have a BBS after all. 
very bizarre, but I've been keeping an eye on it, and it is actually happening, and I don't know what's going on. I can only assume on passes one and two, I'm somehow stretching and lifting the hairs out, and then when they're left alone, they just bed back down. And I went, well, guys, I did not know what to think of that, but look, that was a good shave. That was a good shave. Now, that is a very good shave. Very smooth, very even. A good weight to that razor, and I like the colour too. All good pickups. Press a little bit harder for the pickups. Because the skin on my neck down there just grows in so many different directions. And that's us. I don't know if you can hear that, but if you can hear the hairs getting cut. And that is the shave, guys. And what a superb shave that was. Wow. Good stuff. That razor. Oh, I'm well impressed with that. Makes me want to get a future now. Because the only thing that had me put me off with a future was the geometry of it, you know, the head. Um, and what it get under the nose. All gone. Absolutely wonderful. Oh yes. Right. See, we don't need Danny. You see, some people put Put the um, alum on. I, I, I'd rather not me. It, it, you know, if I can help it, I'd rather not put it on. Well, there you go. Tailors of Old Bond Street. Oh, guys, this stuff smells good. It's a, one of those rare balms that smells like the soap. And that is rare, surprisingly enough. The balms I have bought thinking, you know, as a set, and they've come. The balm has a, no smell at all. And you think, I wouldn't have paid £20 for that if I'd have known it was going to smell like a real barn I've got in there. Mm. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Rinse out. So anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And thanks for subscribing. 600 subscribers. Woohoo! Trust me, it'll feel like... <laughs> it'll only feel like a year until we're saying a thousand! Is. Right, Umbro, Bargain Hunter, once, do you remember the Pecksniffs? Oh man, what a disaster that was. The Pecksniffs was reduced from £10 to £2. I think that was reduced from £5 to a pound. And I thought, hmm. So I opened it in the shop when nobody was looking. I was like, oh yes, we'll have that. Here we go. There you go, that's good. No stinging. No irritation. I didn't think there would be because that was a lovely, lovely smooth shave. That, do you know, guys, that's one of the best shaves I've had in a while. It is one of the best shaves I've had in a while. Thanks for watching. Thank you for all your comments. I read them all and I reply to them all. Sometimes I haven't got time to reply, but I will read it and I will never heart it until I get time to reply, that's when I heart it. Um, so if ever you see a heart and no reply, you know something bad's happened. <laughs> okay, take care. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Look after yourselves, stay safe. We're getting through this, aren't we? The vaccines are on the way. Things, there's light, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I will see you all on Saturday. Don't forget, put your number, 1 to 20, uh, for your interactive Saturday shave. I'd appreciate that, guys. And we'll see you Saturday for the sample Saturday shave. Bye, everybody.